How's it going? Welcome back. I have kind of wanted to hold off on this video, but I just couldn't anymore. Um, I picked up a 1968 Gibson Hummingbird. Um, I've actually had this for about a month now, and it is just phenomenal. One of the best sounding guitars I've ever played, and <clears throat> I just want to kind of document it, um, give you guys kind of the story of how I acquired this one, um, kind of go over little things that I found that are really kind of cool and different with some vintage guitars. You know, there's that surprise of you kind of never know what you're going to get. Um, one of the biggest surprises with this guitar is how skinny this neck is. I mean, it is, the nut is just a shy under inch and 11 sixteenths, but then it actually feels like it gets narrower right about the second fret, and it is very skinny also. I don't know if you can get that kind of a visual. Um, you know, this guitar has had some cracks repaired. They've been cleated properly. I looked inside and inspected. Um, that's always something when you're shopping for vintage guitars. If you get a chance to actually go sit and look at it, I would highly suggest bringing like one of the little mechanics mirrors that it's on a little swivel. That way you can just pop it in there, a little mini flashlight, kind of give it a good look around, make sure none of the bracing's loose, make sure if there is any uh, cracks repaired, that the cleats were installed properly. Um, just a lot of those little things. Um, this one, so I put a word out in a Facebook group asking if anybody was interested in trading my J185. And I got a lot of offers, uh, some great, some not so great. Um, then I had a gentleman pop up and say, hey, I've got this vintage guitar if you're interested. So we ended up talking and um, really great guy. Um, we talked and talked and talked and I made a trip down to Sweetwater to visit my buddy Aaron, who's a sales engineer over there. And on the way, I met up with this gentleman and we played the guitars and we just did an even swap which hindsight is just absolutely insane to me because a vintage piece like this is just way more valuable to me personally than a brand new guitar that I could go out and buy another one tomorrow. Um, you know, just the way this thing is aged, the way it's been played, um, it just sounds amazing. <laughs> Another interesting thing about this particular guitar is somebody fashioned a full thick bone uh, saddle for this one. The original adjustable saddle that these came with in the late 60s um, is actually still in the case. So I've thought about kind of repairing that or just reinstalling it, but I really love the tone that this bone is given off. Um, another thing somebody did at one point is installed what I believe to be a Fishman just under saddle pickup. There's no tone, no volume knobs, anything. There is a 9 volt battery in there and I think next string change I'm going to go ahead and rip all that stuff out and I don't know maybe just stick with using a sound hole pickup if need be. Um, I did play a gig with this on Sunday and I use the NC1 uh, from Mojo Tone, which is an awesome pickup. It sounded amazing, uh, but I popped it in there and because I don't know how this Fishman sounds, I don't know if the battery was dead, I just needed a foolproof way to make sure I had good sound. So I ran that out. I put the cord out of the front. I used a little bit of gaffer's tape to secure the cable and then I clipped the jack to the end pin and secured it to my guitar strap and it sounded great, worked great. Uh, 
Gaffer's tape, if you don't know, it looks like duct tape, it acts like duct tape, but it will not leave any sticky residue. So, but you have to search for it by name, and I highly suggest it. Um, trying to think of anything else I want to mention about this amazing guitar, but um, I think I'll just go ahead and play it for you and be done yammering about it. Um, again, I'm running SM7B direct into the video recorder, um, warm audio, 47JR, straight into the Art Studio V3 tube amp, and that's going straight into the camera. Other than that, no, no post-processing. I will edit some bits in and out um, in the video editor, and that's honestly the only thing I'm going to do for you guys. Well, there you have it 1968 made in Kalamazoo Gibson Hummingbird in the cherry burst finish no less I think this one's a keeper I just can't see myself finding another one of these with that kind of a deal in this kind of a you know condition I mean I did a little bit of nut work just because it was buzzing when I got the neck perfectly straight um, I mean, I could take maybe a couple thousands off the action, but plays just fine for me. So, 
Hope you enjoy. Um, if you've made it all the way this far, thank you so much. Uh, please like, please subscribe. Um, that's really going to help me continue to do this, uh, bring you some more guitars to listen to. And, you know, if you have any questions, comments, you know, leave them in the section below. Hopefully soon I'm going to get to these J45 Deluxe and Advanced Jumbo sitting behind me. Let me know which one you want to see first. Have a great night.